Hello, everyone. Today, I'm going to tell you about the Allow and Deny Lists option we have. Allow and Deny Lists block access to certain websites or services more granularly. Let's say you want to block access to YouTube but want to keep other video hostings open. So then you just need to go to the tab Deny List and add the primary domain of YouTube to your Deny List. Let's do it. As you can see, I'm going to add YouTube.com to my default filtering policy. Place a comment if needed and click Add. After that, the system will automatically recommend you to add all YouTube-related subdomains in order to block access to YouTube services completely. Click Add and Recommended Domains or Subdomains will be placed in the list automatically. Congratulations! You just blocked YouTube. And you can block access to any other services this way. But please keep in mind that making any changes on the dashboard usually takes a couple of minutes to be applied due to the DNS cache. As an opposite option, we have the Allow list. If you add a domain to the allow list, it will always be unblocked even if the category of the domain you add is being blocked by the filter. So let's try to add Facebook.com to the allow list and see what will happen. Click Allow List. Don't forget to choose a filtering policy if needed and put domain here. Place a comment if needed and click Add. Once again, the system will offer you to add all related to the service domains and subdomains to the list. Just click Add and Facebook won't be blocked even if the social media category is being blocked under the Categories tab on your dashboard. Also, we have a convenient option for corporate users which allows creating their own allow and deny lists, also known as named lists. It is designed to be installed on different filtering policies at the same time. This makes the process of applying the same list of allowed or denied domains easier for multiple groups of users or filtering policies. So let's try to create a named list and see what will happen. To create a list, you just need to create any name you can think of and press the button Create List. As you can see, the named list appeared at the bottom of the page and there is a cogwheel button. Using this button, you can assign the same name for a few filtering policies. You can check policies which are using the named list here at the added menu. Click Save. Or you can check this in the Filtering Policies menu at the top of the page. As you can see, the same filtering list is applied for every policy I choose. That's all for today. Goodbye, everyone.